Many gastric bypass is a combination of a sleeve sized stomach along with a bypass of the intestines. So we perform a sleeve um, as we would normally do with the sleeve gastrectomy that has a volume of about 150 mils which decreases the amount of food that can be eaten and decreases the hunger hormone called ghrelin. We then bring up a loop of intestine, small bowel, and we attach it on to the stomach so that when the person eats, the food goes into the stomach through the loop of intestine and it bypasses or misses out 200 centimetres of the small bowel. So with the bypass, you eat small amounts and you absorb a lot less of the sugar, fats, carbohydrates and calories that you've consumed. So the mini gastric bypass works in two ways. It decreases the amount you can eat and it decreases the amount you can absorb. It's called a mini gastric bypass because it has one anastomosis. It has one joint compared to other ga gastric bypasses that have two joints. So it's the safest of all the gastric bypasses. So an ideal candidate for a mini gastric bypass would be a patient who overeats and a patient who's addicted to high calorie foods or drinks. Those are the type of patients that would normally eat high calorie foods and foods that are calorie dense. With the sleeve, if someone drinks Coca-Cola or any other high calorie drinks, it can be difficult for them to achieve their weight loss. With the bypass, because it decreases the amount of calories that we absorb, even with those bad foods, patients can still lose weight. So a gastric bypass would be good for a patient who overeats and who has a addiction to high calorie foods. The weight loss from the gast mini gastric bypass is better than a sleep. So the patients in the first two months will lose up to 25 kilograms, three kilograms a week. And then over that next 10 month period, it becomes very much like a sleeve. So the weight loss would vary between half and one and a half kilograms a week. But the initial weight loss from a bypass is greater than a sleeve on its own. Patients would then uh, see the dietitian, see myself, and again, we'd work out a pre-operative pathway for those patients. But it basically involves being on a liquid diet with Optifast for one week prior to the surgery. Don't eat or drink on the day of surgery. And then after the surgery, they would be on two weeks of liquids and two weeks of pureed food. Post-surgery, the patients will be in hospital for two days. The first day, they drink 30 mils of water an hour. Second day, they'll go on to free fluids where they can drink any amount of liquids they want. Usually, they'll go home after the second night in hospital and require two weeks off work, following which they'll return to the practice where we examine them, make sure, weigh them, make sure everything's the way it should be. And then they would start on the pureed food which is things like yogurt or thickened soup or scrambled eggs. They would do the pureed food stage for two weeks, then in week five they would start on solids. Week five when they start on solids, they can eat all types of food, but only half a cupful at a time. 